What's going on guys, Sean Gus here back with another video. Guys, before we get to the video, I got about five of these hoodies left. You guys have grabbed them and I appreciate you guys. But head over to SeanGuthair.com, I got five left. Make sure you snag you one before they sell out. I also have Storm Grey logo t-shirts and the Clipper tees are marked down to $14.99. I need to move those so I can make some room for some new merch. So you guys head over to the website, grab something I appreciate it greatly. But enough about that, let's get right into this video. All right guys, we're gonna kick this thing off. This is gonna be a simple haircut, a three to a two on the sides with a taper. A lot of you guys asked for kind of a basic haircut that you're gonna do on the daily, so we're gonna jump into it right now. I'm starting off with a number three all the way closed, and now we will come in with a number two all the way closed. We're gonna cut the whole side down to a number two and get it ready for our taper. All right, now we're gonna come in and if you guys pay attention to my videos, a lot of the time I do this, I like to have a bald transition between the sideburn and the beard. So we'll do a bald taper on the sides and we're gonna go ahead and fade into the beard. So we set it up with our slim lines. Now we're coming in with our shaver. We're gonna bald it all the way out. The next step is the wall senior with the andis blade all the way open. And you guys see a taper should go pretty quick. So I went ahead and closed it up, worked on that bottom line. Then we'll open it halfway and take out the next line. All right, next step is a one guard all the way open. We know it's a two closed above it, so the one open will almost blend in. Then we'll immediately close it up and come after that line underneath. We'll go ahead and connect the two to the one with the one and a half guard. I do start with it about halfway open, then I can close it up if it's not getting the line out. Now we'll come back, the last step is the half guard between the open section and the one closed, and that should clean up this side pretty nice. Of course, after that, I always work my way back through and make sure that it's nice and smooth, so I may jump around to some other guards to get any spots that are left before we move on. Now we're gonna go in with the absolute hitters. We'll go ahead and edge up the C cup. You guys see he's got some light hair there, so we're just gonna go in, knock it down, and give him a nice, sharp curve. go up and edge up around the ear. You guys know we'll use the long part of the blade to cut down the neckline, and then we'll pivot on our middle finger around the ear to get a nice clean circle shape. All right guys, we'll do the same steps on this side. I'm gonna speed it up, you already know. And when we do the back taper, I'll touch on that a little bit. But real quick, I wanna to touch on something. I was talking to somebody earlier this week that was having trouble blending like a one guard fade. Uh, and my suggestion was, if you're not doing a skin fade and you don't necessarily need it as short to do like a shadow fade, go ahead and just do a two on the sides and you can lighten up the sideburns and the nape if you need to. That's gonna be much easier than trying to fade from a one to a two on the side of the head, especially for beginners. So most of the time, if I'm not doing a skin fade or a shadow fade, I'm just gonna take it down to a two closed the whole side will be a two closed, then we'll taper the sideburn in the neck. And to the average client, that's gonna give them exactly the look that they're looking for. They just want it short on the sides. They're not asking you to do a whole lot, uh, or do they notice the difference between a one fade and a two on the sides? Like I said, when you taper the sideburn, that's gonna give it the illusion that there's a fade there. And that's gonna be much easier for some of you guys that are beginners. So I would definitely recommend doing that. And as you grow, you can try a one fade or an open clipper fade. Uh, but of course, as you're learning to fade, 
the, the more guards you're trying to pack on the side, the more difficult the cut is. So I would definitely recommend if you guys look at this cut, it's definitely short enough. The two on the sides is short. We're going to taper the sideburns. We'll taper the neck out. It's going to give the appearance of a fade and really give you a nicer hairline around the ear. I'll touch on something else while we're here, uh, while I got some time to talk. Uh, you know, I, got, I like to tell you guys things about my clients and what I do for my clients and how to gain clients. Uh, and this guy's been a client for a little while. This is actually a haircut before his wedding. Uh, so when we got done and he tried to pay me, I gave it to him. You know, if somebody's going to come to you the rest of their life, uh, they're going to pay you a lot of money over a lot of years. So one haircut at a special time for him. He actually texted me later that night and said, hey, man, I really appreciate it. Like, I know it's not a huge thing to give a haircut, but uh, it meant a lot that you gave me a haircut that you were thinking of me for my wedding. And so that's just a little tip for you guys. Something like that can be so meaningful uh, when somebody's in need or when they're having something special going on for you to give them that haircut. Uh, that can mean a lot. So that can really lock somebody in. So we'll go in, we're going to do the back, we're going to do the same steps, we're going to cut the whole thing down to a two, and then we'll come in and we'll taper the neck. So before we go in and start our ball guideline, I want you guys to notice how much his hair really comes in on the bottom of his neck uh, area. So I'm going to have to start that taper a little bit higher because I don't want to have to round that hairline in. And he really has not really a full grown pattern there at the bottom of his neck. So you can see we're going to start that line a little bit higher. We'll go ahead and come in with our slim lines. I know that looks a little bit crooked. It's kind of the way the camera is sitting. Uh, but we're going to do a straight line really is at the first point that his hair is full all the way across. So we did the ball guideline. Now we'll come in with the clipper all the way open and start our first section. Now we'll close it up. We're going to start at the bottom of the section with the clipper closed. The next step above that will be the clipper half open. You can see I'm going right into that clipper half open. And that's why I suggest this, guys. If you do a one fade, you're working all the way around the head, much more difficult. This is going to be short and sweet. You guys can do tapers much quicker than fading all the way around the head. And let's be honest, you know, the average client, they don't really know what they're asking for. Uh, that's kind of what the guy I was talking with kept telling me was, you know, well, that's what they asked for. Um, and I'm not telling you don't give your clients what they ask for, uh, but we are the experts. Understand what they're looking for out of a haircut. He just wants a short haircut. He doesn't care if it's a one around his ear or a two. He wants a short haircut, tapered down nice and tight with a nice line. Uh, so this is going to get it done for him. So we've done our one open. Now we're doing the one closed and the only line left. Actually, this is the zero, uh, the half guard in the wall. And we're taking the last line out between the one and the open section. And you guys can see up by his occipital. Now we'll come in with the one and a half and connect that one to the two. And you guys can see there's a lot of dark spots left. So I'm gonna come back with my open one and just touch up anything that I think might be a little bit too dark before we move on. We'll go in and start to saturate the top with some water. Then we're gonna shear cut the top. He just kind of wears it a little bit of a messy faux hawk. So I'm just gonna take off about probably about an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch. We'll just work that guideline straight back. You can see, you guys see, I don't really ever show this, but I'm gonna comb the long hair out of the way and let you see the guide underneath. And you can't really see it, but uh, when you pull that hair out of the way, you guys can see where you previously cut and we'll cut all the hair to the same length. We're gonna go in, we're gonna angle it a little bit to the side. I'm not gonna cut this totally square. He does wear it kind of like a faux hawk. So I am gonna angle it and connect it to the sides over there. And when we started with our three guard and cut into the length on top, we already kind of have a guide on that side. So I'm just gonna hold it up, look for the guide on one side and connect it to the middle.
Now we'll go vertically and check. You guys can see the peaks. So you can see the high points from where we took our sections and we'll just make it all match. Uh, we'll be done with the haircut. I hope this helps you guys. It's a nice, simple haircut, even trim on top. Uh, just the two on the sides with the taper. You guys can see we're gonna get a nice finished product, nice and clean, short enough for him. Uh, and it's a simple haircut. So you guys keep it simple. Don't try to do too much. As you grow, you can work on doing more fades all the way around, but for a simple haircut, this is nice and short uh, and neat, and it makes the client happy. So that's all we're here for. We're gonna go in, we're gonna touch this fringe up, make sure it's nice and even. We'll do a little clipper over comb to connect the sides to the top, and then we'll be done. All right, we'll throw in some 245 indestructible clay. I did blow dry his hair a little bit, give it a little bit of a messy look, a little bit of a faux hawk kind of spiking in the front. You guys can check it out. There's the before, you can see that neck pattern is crazy. It's over his ears. We did touch his beard up, but I didn't show that. And like I said, this is my guy's wedding cut, so I already saw the pictures and he looks super sharp. There's a finished product, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Leave a comment down below if this helped. And make sure you guys subscribe. I'm dropping three videos a week. You already know. Got lots of content for you guys. But I appreciate you. Catch you next time.